Bennett for doing such an amazing job. Um, she had the auditorium upside down. You know, um, the Filipinos, um, the Mexican, everybody. Um, when their delegate wasn't in the finals, you know, it was all about Jamaica, all about Grand Jamaica. And um, we tried to, I, I guess, the, the few Jamaicans that were there, you know, all we could do is just wave the flag and make some noise. But they took it over and it was just a Jamaican party, a big Jamaican celebration. This morning, I'm a proud Jamaican woman, very proud Jamaican woman. And I know that I express the opinion of all Jamaicans. The entire Jamaica was there with me, Delina. They surrounded me with love and appreciation and admiration. I knew that you would be very successful as a contestant. And I agree with Twitter. Ah, she followed up on Twitter. Oh, yes, I agree with Twitter. You really should have been crowned. <laughs> but you're our queen, and we're proud of you. And, and what makes it so exceptionally um, pleasing for me and many Jamaicans is that you're a natural beauty. You're truly royal. Thank uh, you. Uh, <laughs> I would just like to say a big thank you to each and everyone. I mean, it was because of the support of my fellow Jamaicans and persons around the world that really kept me together to really pull through with the competition. And I have to say, as Carl mentioned, it was like a Jamaican party. I mean, I was there and I was standing just waving and I remember the crowd chanting Jamaica, Jamaica and persons stand with a, you know, I got a standing ovation from everybody in the audience and that was something that was just remarkable and something that I can never replace, a moment that I can never replace. Seeing the, the reaction from the crowd and people in Las Vegas overall from all different races, countries, I have to say that it's like I was the person that won and it's not a feeling that I can explain. You have to be in the moment and to really live it and see it and just to see how the person stand and was chanting Jamaica, that's just something that's just And I might amazing. add to that also, um, the, the party and the celebration continued um, <laughs> into the other morning and even checking in at the airport. They were just on her, and boy, it was so I, I, I remember. I remember even when uh, the show finished, uh, Carl can tell you, I, I decided to, you know, I'm going to put on my little jacket and, you know, purse. I was saying, you know, people not going to pick me up like yeah. that. And I mean, they had to pull me away from people. It was like, yeah. it, it was paparazzi, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. it was crazy. And people were just chanting, you're my Miss Universe, you're my Miss Universe. So I have to say, I made the impact that I wanted. I did make history. I already had the offer before the competition, and I just decided that I wasn't going to change. And I wasn't going to change to meet the standardized beauty of how pageant girls should look. And I just decided that no matter what happens, I'm going to give it my shot, and my hair shouldn't be a barrier that should stop me from succeeding in the pageant. I can't touch it now, you know. So, <laughs> and I'm just really happy that I made the decision to just follow my mind and to just tell a person that I can break this thing while I'm just attached to all the beauty And being that natural beauty that she is, she must be a symbol to those out there who feel that maybe they need to straighten their hair, they need to bleach, they need to change their look, they're not beautiful enough. We're all beautiful. Except you, you are. Yeah. And we must be proud of who we are and be confident in our skin. In our skin. And that is really what's so inspiring about you. My wife was, is one of our best friends, and she nearly died when, she went, when they didn't give her. Because they still, she's still believing that she won, and, and the other two ladies did her order. So I, did, I just came here to get a picture with her, to God show my wife. And I think she has done us proud, and we are so happy for her. Uh, as Ms. the poster Simpson would say, a girl from the bowels of the Clarendon people. <laughs> okay?